Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, what we will try to learn is we will try to learn about the multiple router views. What is this multiple router views? For example, see here, you are able to let me close these all things. Okay. If I go to app.view, I go to app.view, here we will be able to see only one router view. For example, if I keep another router view, what will happen? So if I try to uh, keep it in one view. If I try to keep it in one div and again another rotor view if I try to keep it again in this one what will happen so it will happen in such a way that we try to see the output but two two times it will be displayed okay when you go to the any pages two 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 row two times the component will be displayed so this is the this is the thing happens so if you want to define uh, two rotor views in the same level okay if you go into the inside level, then nested chain root will, will, uh, will be loaded in that one. But here in the same level, if you are loading two rotor views, means the same component will be loaded, which will be loading this app view. Then you don't want this uh, rotor view to be loaded with the default one. So you want your own component to load here, means what we can do here. So we, in this place, we will be using the multiple rotor views. That means what it happen is, so you can give the name whatever the name you want here okay which which component you want to do okay footer so now what we can do is so what let's try to create so now the requirement is what we'll try to do is for example here the requirement is for me i want to load footer some one type of footer in the post in the in the post and in the create post i want to load another type of footer okay what we will be doing in the post component we will be writing that footer component and the create post will be writing this footer component right so now in in this way represent uh, in this way we can represent and Using the multiple rotor views also we can do. So what I will try to do is I will try to create rotor view name is okay. I will keep a name for this one. So this is the default rotor view. So if you want to give the name, you can give the name also. So this is the name thing. And what I can do is let me create the two footers. So first one will be the post sorry post footer dot view, and second one will be the create post footer. Create post footer dot view. So these are the two footers. What I will try to do is so here I will write a template and here I will write give and here in the h2 I will write post footer. So this one is the first footer and in the create post footer I will write create post footer. So these are the two types of footers available in our project. So I want to load depending on the logic. So here in the app.view which is the rotor which is the footer I want to load. So I need to give it in the Main.js in the rotor thing. So, how can I give here? So, here we have given the post thing. So, if you go here, the post path is called block. We changed it right in the previous video. So, if you want to change, you can change it to post. Now, if you want to load the component post here, so only the one component we have given. But here in this in this post, in this component post, okay, the way the component post is loading, we are having two rotor views. So, how what can we do is so we can change it to components here. Okay, so we can change it to components and components will take an object. Okay, it will take an object and here default. What is the default one? So default one will be the post and the footer. So whatever the name you have given at the, uh, there in the app.view app you have given the name is equal to footer, right? So this is the name we will be using. So in this in this router view footer, what is the component I need to load? So I can write here <coughs> import post footer from slash components slash post footer okay i can write post footer dot view so this is the component i need to load so where it is there create post and post yeah it is there here already so i can write here the post footer so this way we can give and also what we have written in the create post also we have given the we need to load another type of comp uh, another type of footer what i can do so I can copy, I can paste this one. So here I can write create post footer from the create post footer. Create post footer. Okay, so this is the thing. So now I can write here the same components. I can I can remove sorry. Components I can remove and I can write here default. Default will be create post. And the footer will be the footer what I need to load create post footer. Okay, so this is the thing how we can mention the uh, uh, 
components multiple components so to load which which component to load in the rotor view we will be mentioning like this now if i try to see the output here see here in the create post you will be able to see that create post footer so the different footer is loaded if you see in the post so you will be able to see the post footer so we will be able to uh, load the another type of footer so this way we can use the instead of mentioning uh, every time so for example if you want another if you have another route you want to load the footer for a different type of footer you can mention uh, something like footer i want to use something like footer so you immediately so simply we can change this one okay so this is the concept of the multiple rotor views okay so now here if you see in the app view here the navigation component is there you can write something like you can remove this one and you can write router name is equal to navigation okay so i you can you can keep like this rotor view name is equal to navigation and i can keep like this also okay it's not it's not wrong so now i need to mention this navigation in the way in the, all the places so here if i need to go and here i need to write navigation okay so what i need to do is navigation i need to import the navigation here i need to import the navigation here so import navigation from slash components slash pages pages only right it is there no in the components only so the navigation dot view okay i can write it like this and we can load this navigation here at the top so now if you try to see navigation i have given for this one right so now if you try to see here source where navigation component has been reached and not been used yeah, okay we got the issue so why because in the app dot view we are not using the navigation but we are importing the navigation okay we can remove this one not a problem and here if i try to see the output here in the post we are able to see the navigation but if i go to the create post i am not able to see the navigation why because in the create post i didn't mention here in the create post i didn't mention anything okay so here also we need to mention navigation is equal to navigation so we can mention like this so now if i go and if you see the output here in the create post also i am able to see in the post also i am able to see okay so this is how we can use the multiple rotor views here but but uh, what i can say is navigation it is better to write navigation directly here only why because so every time you mention the component every time you, you create a route you need to mention this navigation why because in every route we need to use this navigation okay same same navigation same component we will be using same like this right so there is no need for us to write in the navigation so we directly in the app.view we can write it here directly so just for uh, showing purpose i have shown you so in this way we can use the multiple rotor views in the UJS. okay hope you understood about this multiple rotor views if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you